Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to a Wednesday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. What's your name? Lindley. Lindley is my co-host this morning. Hey, Joe. Good morning. Hey, listen. When you get here, whether you watch live or on the replay, do what Joe just did. Leave a comment. Say hi. Let us know that you are here. And uh, we'll do our very best, dead level Whoa. best, to say hi back to you. Hey, there's Mr. Keith. Good morning to you, sir. Hey, and listen, if you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, maybe you're watching on iTunes, tune in, something like that, be sure to head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can join the conversation with everybody else. All right, so this week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Lindley tell a story on herself. Uh, but this, So this week, we've been talking about clarity and control. Hang on just a second. Let me make sure that that's right. There. That should be a lot better. All right. So Monday we talked about clarity and how being really clear on what it is you want is kind of critical to being sure that you get it. And then control is something that we very uh, frequently give away. But it also is critical to being able to get what you want. Now, today, I want to talk about the third C, which is confidence. So, a couple of weeks ago, little one here was riding the school bus home. And <clears throat> do, you, do you remember what happened? You want to tell us what happened? You want me to tell the story? So, she's riding the school bus home. She didn't see any of her friends on the bus. She did recognize my mom's house. So she told the bus driver that that's where she was supposed to get off the bus. So what happened? Yeah. And then they let you off the bus. So the, the reason I want to tell that story is not to make her act like that. You did okay. But to point out that, um, Given the circumstances, she had lost her confidence in being able that, that the bus was going to be able to get her home. So she reverted back to something that she knew, something she was familiar with, which was my mom's house. So that's where she wanted to get off the bus. Hello. Now you talk. Bye-bye. So anytime that we, I mean, look, confidence comes from experience, Right. Hadn't ridden the bus very often, so she didn't have a lot of experience. So her confidence, the, the confidence pool that you had to draw from was pretty small. So as that confidence um, fell into question, she reverted back to something that she knows. We do this all the time. And unfortunately for us, we revert back to, especially when we're trying to make a change, right? It's not going exactly the way we want. We don't, we're not getting the result that we want. And so we revert back to what we know how to do, what we've always done. That's why you keep doing the same things, even though they're not producing the, the change or the result that you want. So if that's how confidence affects this whole equation, clarity, control, and confidence, how do you get it back? Well, you get it back by going all the way back to the beginning being really clear on what the outcome is and um, taking control. Now, to that end, that's what this one did, right? She was really clear. She wanted to get home. She didn't think she didn't know if the bus was going to get her there, so she took control, told the bus driver, this is where I get off, and so they let her off there, right? Mm -hmm. Right? That's what happened. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so clarity and control without confidence uh, is not all that you need. You need all three of them together, right? So if you're unsure or frustrated or not getting the result that you want, it's very likely that it's a lack of clarity or control or experience. Because remember, confidence comes from experience. So tomorrow, when we get back together tomorrow, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about how to tie all three of these things together. And, <laughs> we're going to tie all these things together uh, and make it give you something that you can use to get clarity, control, and confidence, create the results that you want. All right, now, this one has to go to school. So what are you going to say? Bye-bye. All right.
We will see you guys tomorrow. It's Wednesday, so coffee shop show coming up at uh, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock. Bye! So, so join us for that. We'll be back here tomorrow. Take care. Oh, bye-bye.